Hi everybody, it's Dr. Doug again, and today we're going to be talking about part three, the second part of the important gene. But we're going to recap about part one and part two. Part one, we talked about how the sun's rays hit your, hit your skin and the cholesterol inside your skin and causes your body to start the production of vitamin D3, which is actually a hormone. Part two, we talked about that same thing, the sun, your skin, but the first important part, which is the converter gene, the CYP2R1 gene, that if you don't have a optimal gene, if yours is suboptimal, then you can't convert the sun's energy to produce D3. Or even if you get your D3 through um, fortified uh, cereals or milk, you can't convert that D2 to D3. But today, we're going to talk about the transporter gene, the GC gene. Well, after the body has converted the D2 to D3, it has to be transported. So, once D3 is transported, we're just going to think about it as a school bus. D3 hops on the bus, and that bus carries the D3 to the cell. Now, we're not in the cell yet. We are just to the cell. Eventually, we have to get inside the cell in order for it to do work. But what happens if you have a suboptimal transport gene? Well, we just want to think of it as a smaller bus. And when that happens, only a little bit of the D3 can get on board and it's transported to the cell. What happens to the rest? Well, it gets stored and it cannot be used. So it is just your SOL. So what's my options at this point? Well, we talked about before taking a supplement D3 and K2 together, but you're going to have to take it in a smaller amount and more frequently. Why? Because you have a shorter transporter bus. You need only a small amount can get on and shuttled to the cell. So if you're used to taking five drops, which is 5,000 IUs, I would say you take two or three drops in the morning and take another two or three drops in the evening. That way you can make sure it all gets to the cell. Now, our next video, part four, we're gonna be talking about the last part of the gene and that is the binding gene. That is once it gets to the cell and binds to the receptors, it is shuttled into the cell to do work. But until then, I'd like for you to make sure you share this video with your friends. You can always reach us online at proa.co. That stands for Proactive Health. Uh, you can come visit us at the office if you choose. We're here on Jackson Road in Mishawaka, Indiana. And, or you can uh, find us on Facebook. So until then, Remember to align your spine, realign your life. Thanks.